So recently I got advanced screening tickets to see the new version of The Crow. I don't really know what to say about it, so let's just jump right into it. The new version wanted to go into the backstory of Eric and Shelley this time, instead of jumping straight into it. Quick breakdown. Thank you. So the movie starts with Eric as a little kid dealing with the death of his horse. Jump cut. Maybe 20 years later, he's in a rehab facility. What's he doing in the rehab facility? We don't know. Jump over to Shelly's story. She just got sent to tape, and now everyone around her is dying. Seven days. <laughs> she runs, tries to find some cops, some drugs fall out of her purse, and she ends up getting sent to the same rehab that Eric is in. They get to know each other over the course of maybe a week and decide, hey, let's get the fuck out of here. They stroll right out of rehab because it's that easy. <laughs> Am I a joke to you? And then they go chill at some dude's penthouse apartment. Apparently Shelly knows a dude who's out of town and he lets her stay in his apartment. Do we ever meet this dude? No. And then we spend the next week or so doing a lot of drugs. So it's basically just an hour of... I would say all in all, the movie is about 60% of that, then 20% of fumbling around a little bit, and then the rest of it is actually being a decent crow. Eventually, canon event, someone comes and kills them both. Eric wakes up somewhere else because he's dead, and he's got the powers of nothing. He dies a few more times. The whole middle of the movie is just him sucking at being the crow. And I'm not gonna lie, around the end he was actually a decent crow, but it took the entirety of the movie to get there. I don't want to spoil anything for the ending just in case you are planning on seeing the movie, but I will just say it is not great. Wait, 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 we gotta talk about the redesign. The original 90s crow was a gothic icon, and you want me to be okay with the fact that we got rid of this. <laughs> So we could have this. This movie probably would have been better listed as a sequel to The Crow instead of a full reboot of the entire franchise. Because let's not forget we had this. But being a reboot of the entire franchise means I need to think of it as its own entity, its own thing. If you have seen the original Crow, is this movie for you? No. If you've not seen the original Crow, would this movie be for you? No. But all in all, I have to rate them both differently. If you've seen the original Crow, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. If you haven't seen the original Crow, 6.5 out of 10? I don't really know what they were going for for this whole movie. Here's the fucking money, shithead! All in all, I saw this movie for free and it still wasn't even worth it. Is the movie good? Is the movie bad? It's a movie. If you're looking for a way to spend a couple hours, then sure, you can go and watch The Crow. But you might be a little bit disappointed afterwards. But some people are diehard fans, so they're gonna see the new one. It highlights a big problem we have right now with the film industry. How all these companies want to take already existing IPs so they can cash in on the benefits of the people who are already fans of the existing franchise. And hope to win over a new generation with the franchise with their new redesign, saying it's something completely different. When in all actuality, for people who love the original, is just stepping all over it. And then bombing so hard at the box office that no new people want to see it either. So I want to know what you think. Are you going to see the movie? By the time this comes out, have you already seen the movie? Did you have any high expectations for it, or were there low expectations? Sound off in the comments below, maybe we can have a discussion about it. Or click subscribe for any future videos I post. Thanks for watching. Later.